Uh, the rest of tonight, mainly clear skies. Our temperatures will sift back into the 50s uh, by early tomorrow morning. There's a chance of some light patchy fog first thing in the morning. Otherwise, uh, quite a bit of sunshine around tomorrow with some passing clouds, especially as we go into the afternoon. Now, temperatures will already be in the mid to upper 70s by lunchtime, and then we're going to push into the low 80s uh, later tomorrow afternoon. Notice how Future Tracker picks up on some of these clouds later in the day uh, toward evening. That's what that cold front, and there could be an isolated sprinkle if it can make it to the ground as this uh, system tries to work its way through here, but it's going to be a big struggle tomorrow evening. Once we get past that, look for skies to clear back out and a pretty quiet weather into Thursday morning, although I am concerned about some fog to get the day going. Once we get past that morning fog, quite a bit of sunshine building in and we'll get those temperatures on into the upper 80s by the time we get into Thursday afternoon and it just keeps climbing as the week goes on. Uh, 53 tonight, mostly clear skies. Uh, tomorrow, overall, pretty good looking day. Uh, some sunshine around, a few passing clouds, slight chance of a sprinkle or isolated light shower by tomorrow evening. Seven day forecast gets hotter, upper 80s Thursday, low 90s on Friday. Now the chance of a shower or storm will move back in late Friday into Friday night and that chance of a shower or storm stays with us uh, right on through Saturday. Warm and humid through Sunday and Monday for your 4th of July. Now, there is the risk of a shower or thunderstorm popping up Sunday and Monday, especially into the afternoon and evening hours. And then a chance of a shower or storm will stick around with that warm, humid air right on into next Tuesday.